What's good everybody? My name is Jay Fatty. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to add panning to any kind of thing, um, any kind of element, drums, melodies, whatever it may be. It's super simple and how you can automate it really easily. Okay, so we're going to be putting panning on these toms right here. So if we just listen to this little part. I want those toms to have stereo panning to kind of go crazy. Now, instead of just going into there and, you know, manually putting left and right, all of that, putting a lot of work in there, what we can actually do is put in the effect effector. First thing we're going to want to do is route it to um, a mixer track, whatever we're using. In this case, I have all these toms. So I have them routed to like a tom bus and I put on this effect. It's a default FL Studio effect. It's called effector, okay? And it has all sorts of different stuff that you can mess with, all right? Let me actually get rid of this one since I already have one in there. But we're on the stereo tab. And this lets me have stereo panning going on. Um, we can talk more about effector in a later video, but let's just focus on the stereo effect that's a part of it. Now, when effector comes on, it's going to have this bypass thing on, and you're not going to be able to hear the effect unless you click on the little um, graph thing here. So we can just turn that effect off, okay? So we want to kind of have something like this. Where that stereo panning takes place, okay? You might want to wear headphones if you couldn't hear that. If you're on a phone, I'd put some headphones on. But how we're going to do that is super simple. We're going to first want to create an empty pattern and put that uh, to the length of where we ever we want to automate this, okay? Since it's just this part, I'll have it right there. Now I'm gonna go back into Effector and I'm gonna go up to this Record button. I'm gonna click it and I'm just gonna do Notes and Automation, all right? Now all I have to do is literally just hit Play. Since this is a default FL Studio plugin, we can go ahead and record all movement in here and it counts as automation, okay? So let's just hit Play and move this around. Okay, if we unarm by clicking this or hitting R on our keyboard, we can listen to this now and see if the panning did it justice. As you can hear there, it definitely did. So yeah, don't be sleeping on auto using this effector and automating it for stereo panning. As you can see here though, there's all sorts of other effects on this effector module. We'll talk about more of these effects in a later video, but if this video did bring you value, please leave a like, hit subscribe, and hit that little bell. It's much appreciated. Make sure you stay safe, stay striving, and always be getting. Much love, y'all. Peace.